I got this crazy emulator console sent to me. The link will be below for more info. And this is a clone console. This is Super Console X Cube, and it advertises 50,000 games. That is a lot of games. I was curious about this, and I want to share this with you. You know, uh, this is just a, uh, a console, maybe for a casual gamer that just wants to play games, and it offers and advertises quite a bit. So I'm going to open this up and share with what it includes. I'm going to focus pretty much on uh, just some some basic games that you can play with the controllers that it comes included. Now there's different memory card sizes that. Also, is optional to get uh, a bigger memory card and add even more games. And so I'm not going to focus on that. I'm just focusing on the games that are included. This is definitely a plug and play. Uh, it does come with a power brick. The power brick is rather short, so this might be best for a desktop. It does uh, offer the ability to uh, add additional controllers, USB, um, as well as wireless. And so there's the back of it. Also, the ability, it looks like, to uh, have this connected to AV. So you can use this, I do believe, on a CRT. I'm not going to test this. I'm just going to show uh, some of the games from different consoles that are emulated on this console. Now, it has a bunch of paperwork showing how you can add games. Um, you know, and the controllers that come with it uh, look a lot like a DualShock 2. They are wireless with a USB adapter, uh, wireless that you can plug into the front of the console. So there is a lot of paperwork. I'm not going to really focus on that. It does come with an HDMI cable. And this is a very affordable package for less than, starting at less than 40 bucks. So that is really inexpensive. Uh, you know, and you know, there's going to be a lot of opinions about this. I'm just sharing what I see in front of me and what this console advertises. You know, there's lots of different clone consoles on AliExpress. I've done some in the past, and this is the current offering from one company, and the link will be below. Lots of different paperwork kind of sh shows how you can set this up with, with the network. Um, you know, and and I was really curious: is this really a plug and play? Does it come with 50,000 games? That's just ludicrous. Uh, the controllers are fairly light and cheap. Um, we'll see how they control all the games I showed today. I'm going to be using the uh, controller it came with. Now I'm comparing it to an official NES. Mini, and as you can see here, it looks very close. It's close. It's not exact. Um, there's some differences, and the dimensions are a little bit different, but it looks pretty close to the NES Mini. So there you go. Um, Want to jump right in to what's included, and we'll show the front there. That's pretty interesting. And here we go. So when you power it on, and you're introduced to this screen, and it shows what's kind of uh, emulating and how it's emulating on this console. And here are the different consoles that you can play. There's an amazing amount of Sega, PlayStation, PSP. Turbo Graphics, a little bit of Turbo Graphics CD, Odyssey 2, Vita Rage, Neo Geo Pocket and Color, Hax, NES, Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD, DS, N64, MSX2, Genesis Master System, MAME, Intellivision, Genesis, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Game Gear, even Game Watch, awesome, Famicom Disk System, uh, some, some tons of arcade, Dreamcast, C64, tons of Atari ST, Lynx, Atari 800, 700, 5200, 2600, as well as lots of classic computer games from many different computers of yesteryear, and you're going to have your favorites. Even Wonderswan, Virtual Boy, Vetrex, and Super Graphics, awesome. Like any emulation console, you'll have to tweak with the settings to get the preferred outcome. But, you know, I think overall, PlayStation was running great. There's tons of filters and streams and different options, even different emulators. It even runs PlayStation Portable. This is Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. And as you can see, it's running 60 frames. No problem. Uh, it was a little bit of stuttering at the beginning, but I don't know if it was just the emulator I was using. But there's so many different options. It even runs Dreamcast. At the start of Soul Calibur, there was some graphical glitches. But overall, the game was totally playable, and I didn't notice the graphical glitches after the beginning intro of each level. So I don't know if there's save states. even has Neo Geo CD, as I mentioned before. And you can play, you know, console exclusives. You know, a lot of these games are so expensive, not even uh, relatively available. And so you're being able to play them all in one spot is going to appeal to some people. You know, maybe you're just a casual gamer and you're looking for something uh, just, to, just to pass time. You don't want to collect. You know, this may be an option for you. Lynx, and it has 